welcome to Gorilla Kitchen. I'm your host, Gorilla Sticks, and today we're making a classic with a modern twist. Today's recipe has a history that goes all the way back to 1959. A gallon of gas was 30 cents, communism was all the rage, machine guns were still legal, and there was a Kennedy running for White House. In fact, the three out of those four are still... Today we're making the firearm equivalent of a rest of odds, starting with this. The classic A2 upper receiver. Now of course, when assembling firearms on YouTube, it's important to show everything in great detail. Which... This is why you're going to see me preheat the oven to 375. Season both sides of the upper receiver liberally in preparation for the blind bake. Well, normally I would recommend letting your oven come up to temperature before doing a blind bake. When you're doing barrels, it's important to allow the temperature of the oven to come up gradually so you don't affect the heat treat on the barrel. 25 minutes. And now onto the main course is our KE Arms KP15. Now this is an easy assembly, and just like any salad, you're gonna want a container. Just add everything in, make sure you sprinkle the, the safety detent in there. All the trigger components, the springs all get some nice separation. Upper completion kit. My secret ingredient for this, a little touch of heat there, went with the red Radiant Talon safety. Let it fall free. All right, wait one second while I grab the robust extra virgin olive oil. Uh, now you're just gonna do a light toss the coat here. Combine all the, combine all the flavors. Now, this is going to join the upper in the oven. Make sure it's on the lower rack so you get that little bit of separation between the heating element and the upper receiver. Again, don't want to affect that heat treat. Now for this one, we're going to increase the temperature to 420. And leave it there for 30 minutes or until done. Hello there. Looks like we're just about done. Let's just, uh, oh yes. Excellent. So you didn't quite have the proper ingredients for the ejection port cover. And now for the garnish.
get the gorilla out of the room first. Why did I make a cooking video? And why do I have a bow tie and an apron? Well, a couple months back, YouTube changed their policies on what you can and can't do with these thingies on camera. So, cooking video. And I got another one in the works that's waiting on a tax stamp so I can actually attach the Lego pieces. Second, I gotta show some love to a mod over at Lead and Steel. He hooked me up with some at-cost parts for this build. Namely, their EREC trigger. It's Mil-Spec Plus. I'd recommend it. Their chode charging handle, it's gas directing, so help with gas space a little bit when you're shooting suppressed. Their arc charging handle, let's see if we can get that there, and arc handguard, which has been heavily customized to fit the iron sights. I'm sorry, Ahmad, it was a lot of time with an angle grinder, a Dremel, and some files. Oh, centered on camera, hey! On to the main event. KE Arms KP15, monolithic polymer lower. I believe it's A1 geometry buttstock, memory serves. The pistol grip handle is a happy medium ground, not too much angle, not too little. It fits my geometry very well. It weighs absolutely nothing, highly recommend it. My biggest gripe is the takedown pins are not captured. What's next? A2 upper receiver from Thunder Tactical. Carry handles are a genius idea. Eugene Stoner is kind of a genius. Highly recommend it. Plus, they look absolutely awesome with 20 rounders. A2 upper worked flawlessly. Haven't had any problems with it. Luckily, I did a good job lining up the front side post. 14.5 barrel with a pin and welded uh, Surefire flash hider. Oh, wait, I wonder if you can get the, the ping. Hang on, try it one more time. So every time you shoot, that's what happens. And it's kind of funny when your, your pro picks it up. Streamlight, I'm a fan of these guys. You may or may not have seen me go into the swamp with one. I trust them. Uh, 3D printed, 100 concepts cap thing. If you don't have a 3D printer, get one. What else is there to talk about? Oh yes, my shameless self plug. Hey there, still watching? If so, like and subscribe. And if you're feeling particularly frisky, head on over to Lead and Steel and grab one of my premium leather hand-stitched handguard wraps I call the foreskin. Keep your eye on riverstickssupplyco.com for more. Don't mind me. All right, let's go. Head on over to Lead and Steel and grab one of these. Oh god, I can't do that on camera.